In science and mathematics, people often need to deal with extremely large or extremely small quantity. So for example, in science, the mass of an electron is this kilogram. So it's 0 0.30 911 kilogram. So writing such number is very cumbersome. So therefore, scientists and mathematicians, they came up with a way to write a very long number in a more compact form, which is scientific notation. So the scientific notation of this very long number is 9.11 times 10 to the negative 81. All right, so let's say uh, you, you want to write a number. So let's say I want to write 10,000, right? So this is 10,000, or you can write 1 times 10 to the fourth power, which is 1, followed by 4, 0. So if you write 100,000, so this will be 1 times 10, followed by 5, 0. You might say, okay, I don't see there is a big difference. All right, let's, let's do one more. So let's say 1, 1 million. So the reason we use a comma here is this the reason here is why we have to use a comma. So when we read a long number, right? So you don't want to count the digits one by one. So we put a comma on, on every three digits that helps us to read and that helps us to read the number. So this one one followed by six zero. So if you use a comma to separate every three digits, I can easily tell that that is one million. So which is one times 10 to the sixth power, you might say, hey, I don't see any difference uh, between between the 1 million and 1 times 10 raised to the sixth power. All right, so how about this? What if you have 1 followed by a uh, 1,000 zeros? Are you, able, are you going to waste your time to write 1,000 zeros out? No, nope. you don't need to do that. So you can write 1, and then how many zeros do you want? You want 1,000 zeros, right? Then you raise that to 1,000 power. So that's why we we use scientific notation. We want to, instead of writing a very long number, we can you put that number in a more compact form. Let's take a look at scientific notation. So we have the first screenshot. This is the general form of scientific notation, a times 10 to the nth power. The value a is the mantissa, and the number between, and a is a, and is a number between one and 10 including 1 but not including 10. So a is between 1 and 10. a cannot be equal to 10, but a can be equal to 1. So uh, and the value n is exponent and an integer is either and it's an integer, either positive or negative and 10 is the base. So the base is always 10. All right. So the base is always 10. So the next screenshot, I did four computations. So the first one I did is I take three divided by a very large value. So a 3 divided by a very large value, the quotient must be extremely small. So you see 3.54027459, and then you see there is a e minus 6. So e minus 6. This, uh, you can call this a e notation. So in statistics, you will see this type of number in some of the chapters. When you see this type of number, you have to be able to tell that this is equals to 3.54. Usually we keep two decimal places. One is okay, but I, I get used to two, and then times 10 to the negative six. And when you see such type of number in, in a statistics class, you have to know that this number is a number that is very, very close to zero. So that is equals to zero point uh, five zero and then 354 the minus six means at 3.54 you move the decimal point six steps to the left one two three four five six so this is very very close to zero so the next one is 13 divided by a very large value you have 2.64 times 10 to the negative nine you have to be able to write this and you have to be able to tell that this number is very close to zero. One divided by a huge quantity is one times 10 to the negative 12. Can the first number be negative? The answer is yes. If you take a negative five divided by a very large value, there is no way to write a positive in there. So you write negative 3.86 times uh, 10 to the negative seven. You have, must be, you have to be prepared to read this type of thing 
in your statistic class. Now, so it looks like scientific notation is a com so it looks like if you have a very large number, you need to be able to convert to a scientific notation, right? But how do we convert that? There are a few cases. I'm going to go over each of those in this video, starting with the first one. So the first one that you will have to learn is you want to convert scientific notation to decimal. Right? So case one is you have to deal with positive exponent. So positive exponent so positive exponent so let's say you have a scientific notation 9.3 times 10 to the seventh power you need to know what that is so this is 9.3 times 10 to the seventh power means 1 followed by 7 0 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so that means you have to move the decimal point the decimal point seven steps to the right how do we do that so here is how uh, if you have no experience in doing this so you are moving the decimal point to the right right so this is how I do this when I was learning decimal notation I write 9 3 and then followed by a bunch of zero just prepare a, a few more zeros you start right here right and then start the counting one two three four five six seven so you start right there so that means this is a 93 followed by how many zero followed by six zeros right one two three four five six seven so that is 9.3 followed by six zero one two three four five six you can use a comma to separate every three digit So let's do one more. How about uh, 2.46 times 10 to the 9th power? So that means it's 2.46 times 10 times 1 followed by 9 zero. So that means you have to move the decimal point 9 steps to the right. So this is how I do it. Two four six and then you draw a bunch of zero you can draw extra zero because this is only a scratch work you start at this point and then you move nine steps one two three four five six seven eight nine right there so that is equals to 246 followed by how many followed by seven zero one two three four five six seven and then you can use a comma to separate every three digits all right so that is how you do it so this is a positive exponent of course we have a negative exponent so let's do a negative exponent so case two we have negative exponent so negative exponent so this time we are still using a 9.3 this time i'm going to change the positive 7 to a negative 7 so what what it does is you have a negative exponent, right? So you have a 9.3 times 1 divided by 10 to the 7th power. So what is 10, 10 to the 7th power? That means you have 1 followed by 7, 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1 followed by 7, 0. So that means you are taking a 9.3 divided by a very large value. So what is that what is that going to be? So that means you are making 9.3 smaller, right? You take a 9.3 divided by a value that is so big, so you are making 9.3 smaller. When you do that, that means you have to move the decimal point uh, seven steps to the left. Here is how I do it. So I write a 9, 3, right? And then I prepare many, many zeros on the left. And then I start the move, starting right here, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we start right there. So that is equals to 0. Point. How many zeros? Right here. How many zeros? 6, 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 9, 
3. That's how you do it. So let's uh, do one for the 2.46. This is a positive 9. Let's do a negative 9. So we have a 2.46 times 10 to the negative 9. So this is a 2.46 times 1 divided by 10 to the 9th power, right? So which is 2.46 divided by 1 followed by 9, 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So that means you are making 2.6 small, 2.46 smaller. Making 2.46 smaller means that you have to move the decimal point nine steps left. And then here is the scratch work. So we have a 2, 4, 6, and then we draw a bunch of zeros. And then we start the move starting at this point. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So that's where we stop. And then how many zeros do we have? We have a 6, 8, 0. So that, that is equals to 0 0.8 zeros, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and then 2, 4, 6. So this is how we convert from scientific notation, convert a scientific notation to decimal. How about from decimal to scientific notation? Let's do that too. So now we are trying to do convert decimal to scientific notation. All right, so the case one is very large value and positive exponent. So we have case one, very large value and positive exponent. So let's say we have a 314 followed by, let's make it back, followed by six zero. How's that? One, two, three, four, five, six. How about this? Nine zeros. What is that equal to? This is a very large value. And then uh, how do we convert this to a scientific notation? So first thing first, we have to write the mantisa. The mantisa must be between 1 and 10. 1 is OK. Is this correct? Is this between 1 and 10? No, that is not right, right? So that is not right. Okay, let's erase this. Can I have 314? No, 314 is not between 1 and 10. So the only option is 3.14, right? And then times 10 to the sum power, right? Uh, what, what number goes there? So this is how we do it. So let's switch color first. So we you want 3.14, right? How many steps do you have to make? So this is a 3.14. This is a 314 followed by so many zero. So that means you are making this bigger, right? So you are trying to make 3.14 bigger. So that means you have to use a positive exponent. All right, starting at 3.14. So let's do the move. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So we make 11 steps to the right. So this is positive 11. So that means starting at 3.14 and then move the decimal point, the decimal point 11 steps to the right. So that's why we need to use a positive exponent because once you multiply 3.14 by that large value, you are making 3.14 bigger. All right, so let's do the next one. I'm going to give you another number. How about this? 2036, this time followed by 60. And then let's use a comma to separate the digits. So this, we have to start with uh, 20.36, right? Is this correct? No, nope, it is not right because 20.36 is not between 1 and 10. How about... Um, how about 203.6? Can we do that? Nope, that this is a wrong mantisa because that is not between 1 and 10. Okay, so we have to fix that too. So what is correct? The correct things to do is 
0 3 6 so now this number is between 1 and 10 and then you multiply base 10 raised to some exponent so what you are trying to do is you are trying to make 2.036 bigger right so that means you need a positive exponent positive exponent means you starting at 2.036 and then you move the decimal point this decimal point how many steps to the right we don't know right let's find out right now starting at 2.36 right here let's do the move 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 9 steps so this is 9 steps that means this is 10 raised to the ninth power all right so that is case one very large value right how do you convert a very large value to scientific notation and then case two is very small value and using negative exponent so very let's write the word case two so we have case two very small value and negative exponent so let me give you a very small value how about this 0 0.50 so 0 0.1234550752 what is the mantisa the mantisa is 752 nope 75.2 nope that is not between 1 and 10 the only option is 7.52 not 75.2 7.52 is between 1 and 10 and then you multiply 10 raised to some power compare the 7.52 and the very small value which one is bigger the 7.52 right so now your job is you want to make 7.52 smaller to make a number smaller you have to use negative exponent all right, so that means you have to move the decimal point a few steps to the left. So that means you have to move the decimal point some steps left. How many? Here is how many. Starting at 7.52, let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So that is 6 steps. So that is 6 steps to the left. Then this will be a negative 6 let's use an even longer number and that number is very close to zero so let's do that so i am going to give you another number so that is zero point uh, let's see how about this 12 zero Forty seventy-five. How about this? What's the mantisa? The mantisa is 44.075, right? That is between 1 and 10. There is no other option. And then you have to multiply 10 raised to some power. So that means you are trying to make, use another color, make 4.075 smaller. Therefore, you have to use a negative exponent. So how many steps you have to move? You have to move the decimal point some steps left. How many? Starting at this point, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. You have to make 13 steps left. So this will be a negative 13. Uh, this one, the 4.075, I keep three decimal places. So for the Mantisa, you can either do 4.08 or you can do 4.1 times 10 to the negative 13. So either you keep two decimal places or one decimal place. I get used to two, two, two decimal places because I have been using this for a long time. So going back to this problem, uh, you can do, do this or you can do 2.04 times 10 to the ninth power. That is fine as well, but I don't really like using 2.0 times 10 to the ninth because I really don't want to uh, miss the, the 3, 6, or the 4. All right, so um, I would say use 
two decimal places when you write scientific notation. So that is the end of this part. If you think my instruction is helpful, like, subscribe, share. I appreciate your help really much, of course. I see you all in the next one.